Hey guys, and today we're creating a Mondrian inspired picture. You will need coloured paper or card in the three primary colours, a sheet of A4 white paper, a sheet of A4 black card, scissors, Pritt stick, a ruler, a pencil, a piece of scrap cardboard with a straight edge, and some black paint. The only prep that you'll need to do before this lesson is to get a guillotine and cut the A4 sheets of white paper into two A5 sheets. Give each child a sheet of A5 white paper and get them to glue it in the centre of the black card. If it isn't straight, don't worry, this is adds to the effect, but if they can get it straight, then it will look like mine. On each sheet of primary coloured paper, so on the yellow, red and blue paper, get the children to draw a selection of squares and rectangles in different sizes. Do this with a ruler so that you have nice straight edges. When they have a selection of different sizes of squares and rectangles on each colour, get them to cut them all out. I separated mine into a pile of each colour so I could easily choose what colour I was going to work with. Now it's time to play with the composition. They can overlap the rectangles and the squares over into the black border and that covers up any wonky edges that might be on the white paper. And you can overlap any rectangles and squares anyway because it's inspired by Mondrian. You can place smaller squares inside a larger square and the same with rectangles or you can have them so squares and rectangles are overlapping you can have different colours on top of each other you can really play around with this but try to have everything at a horizontal or a vertical because we don't want any diagonals in this one otherwise it won't look right when they're happy with where everything has been placed they can go ahead and glue it down with Pritt stick Next, get a paper plate or a large palette to put some black paint onto and the children can then dip the edge of a straight piece of cardboard into the black paint and use the cardboard to print with. The idea is to print straight black lines which are either perpendicular or parallel to each other and these can go anywhere as long as they overlap some of the white background and some of the coloured shapes. I personally think that this is a great art lesson to incorporate maths and art together because you're looking at shapes and you're looking at primary colours and then you're also talking about technical terms for maths so you're talking about perpendicular and parallel lines so it's all mushed into one lesson. And of course it is Mondrian inspired so there's more art to be explored in that direction. The children can print as many lines as they like as long as they are perpendicular or parallel to one another um, but I would encourage that less is more. Leave these to dry and these are all finished. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more lessons like this on a Monday and other art related videos on a Thursday. See you next week for more art with Miss Burford.